No more Wrangler copycat is allowed in America. Despite Mahindra owning the rights to design the initial Willis design. The Jeep Wrangler's style is iconic. Period. Inspired by the iconic Willis Jeeps from World War II but brought into the present day there's no off-roader that's more immediately recognizable. One second, before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this channel. That will motivate us to make more videos like this. Your support is very important for us. Only, you can help us to reach the next milestone. Now, let's get started. It's not surprising that FCA, which is now Stellantis, was furious after Indian automaker Mahindra introduced a vehicle called the Roxer which was almost exactly like the first Willis Jeeps. In the short version, FCA sued Mahindra, US courts had to order Mahindra to cease selling the Roxer that wasn't road legal in any way to the extent that certain elements of its design were altered as well as Mahindra changed the grille, and then continued to operate like normal. The court also agreed that there was no evidence that the Roxer was not an Wrangler replica, and that since Mahindra holds all rights in its Willis Jeep design, and was since 1947 the design, it shouldn't have been a problem at all. However, Fiat Chrysler won't leave well enough alone and is trying to block Mahindra in its efforts to sell the Roxer across America. According to Reuters the 6th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals considers that the Detroit Federal Court erred in applying rules when it decided that the post-2020 Roxers which are facelift will not cause confusion for consumers that was the main justification for FCA's legal case. The original decision relied upon the International Trade Commission's ITC, declaration that Roxer style was distinctive enough and that a typical person would instantly recognize that it wasn't the same as a Jeep. Sixth Circuit Sixth Circuit alleges that because Mahindra is a known infringer of intellectual property law, the court should have been held to an even higher standard. Based on the latest information, it is believed that FCA slash Stellantis could be able to have proceedings restarted the case, and it is currently being referred again to the Detroit court which has previously handed down an opinion on which safe range in the design of the Roxer is an actual fact, sufficient due to its resemblance to the Wrangler. The Mahindra spokesperson has stated that the company's confidence and anticipates any verdicts to be consistent with the rulings of the past. The original grille with five slots might have been misinterpreted by some as a resemblance to Jeep's famous seven-slot model but the new version is not at all like it. Since Mahindra is the owner of this Willis Jeep design, it appears to us that Fiat Chrysler is picking on the less popular model. The Roxer, which is also called Dar as it's referred to in certain markets, is an excellent small off-roader, but in the US it's not street legal, which is to say it's only sold as an off-road terrain traverser. If Jeep is determined to constantly pursue brands that have similar designs, perhaps it could pursue that GMC Hummer next, after all, it sports an identical grille with six bars to the design Jeep has adopted for the Wagoneer SEV. What do you think about this? Let me know this by commenting below. I would love to see them. I can go through your comments and share my feedback. Thanks for watching this video completely. Kindly subscribe to this channel, and hit the like button. Thanks again, have a great day.